Namaste, and welcome back to Grow With The Jan Family. Mirnam Anjali, hey. And today we are going to react to some news that came out just the other day. Now it's not official, but Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has responded and saying that they are definitely going to hold the Chinese accountable for a lot of the stuff that they've been doing. They are going after China, and he didn't want to get ahead of himself, but he is talking like they are going to follow in India's footsteps and ban some of these Chinese apps that are a security breach. Um, so we're going to watch this. Um, this would be amazing if this happened. Yeah. We've been saying this before in our past videos, like we would love the U.S. to do the same thing that India did and follow in their footsteps and ban these Chinese apps and, and hit them in the wallet and hit them politically at the U.N., you know, with the Tibet bill, all these things. So we're going to watch this and uh, let you know what they said. Yeah. And finally, Mr. Secretary, the huge Chinese app TikTok has about 30 million users in the United States, but it's been banned now by India and Australia is considering the same action, yeah. uh, saying that TikTok was yeah. full of mass surveillance and propaganda and also that the app had the ability to feed information straight to Beijing. So uh, kind of obvious question. <laughs> if all that's the case, shouldn't we be considering right now, tonight, yeah, a ban on question. Chinese social media apps, especially TikTok? Laura, your viewers should know we're taking this very seriously. Yes. We're, we're certainly looking at it. We've worked on this very issue for a long time, whether it was the problems of having Huawei technology in your infrastructure. We've gone all over the world, and we're making real progress getting that out. Uh, we uh, declared ZTE a danger to American national security. We've done all of these things with respect to Chinese apps on people's cell phones. I can assure you the United States will get this one right, too, Laura. I don't want to get out I don't want to yeah. get out in front of the president, but it's something we're looking at. Would you recommend that people download that up on their phones uh, tonight, tomorrow, anytime uh, currently? Only if you want your private no. information in the hands of the Chinese Don't Communist care. Party. Mm -mm. Mr. Secretary, it's great to see you as always tonight. Thanks Thank so you, much. Thank you, Laura. Yeah. I hope, I hope this really goes through. You know, yeah. he is talking about um, more of this. He really talked about holding the Chinese Party accountable for many things, um, Hong Kong, but this. TikTok and all these apps, I feel like would be a simple solution, a slap in the face, um, would make a big impact, yeah. um, and, and to follow suit from India. Like the president has said time and time again in, in his speeches, you know, how they have lied about, you know, patents on patents and they've, you know, not done treaties well. And, you know, they've, like stolen stuff you know left and right he talks about how they're not trustworthy and how it's not secure and um you know this is a security breach issue if you obviously download tiktok on your phone you know they can get your personal information yeah. probably how they got our address and sent us you know earrings in the mail if you haven't seen that one which they weren't you know lie after lie after lie we've seen this again and again and so I hope, I, he, I know he tried not to say it because maybe it's not completely signed off on, but I hope the president starts to walk the walk because he's been talking about hitting China. He took away funding from the WHO, but he needs to really hit China hard. And he is the person that I think can do it. And this would be a good start. You yeah, know? especially because India did it. And India mm -hmm. has 1.3 billion people. And that's big that India like banned all these Chinese app. So if India can do it, we can totally do it too. Yeah. And we should be doing it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we hope this policy goes through um, completely. We hope that there is more stuff like fair trade, not free trade from yeah. China, that there are some answers. Like every day we've been finding out a new virus, a new virus keeps coming out from China. Why? Why? And why is there no investigation? You know, yeah, seriously. where is the UN resolution on an investigation on China on at least COVID-19, where hundreds of thousands of people have died and millions of people have been affected by it? Where is the resolution at the UN? So we hope and pray that the U.S. follows suit to India, follows right behind India. Let yeah. is ban those apps. We are for it. We do not need 
these Chinese apps on our phone yeah. that are going to steal information and sell it back to the Communist Party. So we're done, done with China. They need to be accountable for a lot of stuff. So hopefully this goes through, and if yeah. we hear something, we'll let you guys know, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.